fuck out and turn around and kill him. So that's right, that right there is crazy. And another one, which is called alien invest in investation, infestation. What's so cool about it is that every time you kill a marine, that marine turns into an alien. And then it could be like 10 aliens. Like, it could be like 11 aliens against one marine because you keep changing them. Like, you know, you keep converting them. So it becomes alien infestated. It's so crazy. Yo, go out and get the game. Go out and get the game. And you got to get the game because Hip Hop Randy says so. You already saw her debut on the show. But I'm just telling you, the game is crazy. I gave it a 9 out of 10. I had to take the point off because there's no zoom. And that right there is just a horrible decision for them to keep that out. The flare could be used for another button or something. But that's crazy. But overall, the online experience is smooth. The servers work very well. Um, so far, I've been able to find a lot of games to enjoy. The game is crazy, man. The game is crazy. So just, it's so many moves, so many varieties. You cannot go wrong with this purchase. So pick it up. 9 out of 10, baby. HipHopGamerShow.com. Enjoy the rest of the footage. Yo, yo, you looking at the EA logo, rolling with the Hip Hop Gamer. It's a, yeah, you already know what it is, man. Check this out. I'm with a special, special person. He go by the name of Andrew. I'm about to give him the belt. But before I give him the belt, he's responsible for all your gaming needs. So we about to talk to him right now. Andrew, can you let them know what site, you know, what company you representing right now? I work for a company called NVIDIA. Woo! Woo! <laughs> now check this out, man. NVIDIA... We already know it's crazy in the PC gaming market, you know what I'm saying? And t truthfully, I'm surprised to see so many PC gaming machines here. And Bad Company 2 just really blew me away in 3D. And I'm telling you right now, you have to hold the belt, Drew. All right. Because the shit is fire, all right? Now, now, NVIDIA, like, what's some of the things that you're doing with 3D technology nowadays? Um, so basically what we got is this new stuff, it's called 3D Vision Surround. So 3D Vision's been around for a while, which is one monitor, right? You're getting 120 hertz, and each eye is giving you 60 hertz, right? So the monitor is putting out twice as much information, and your eyes are cutting off everyone alternately, so you get the full 3D experience, right? That's it's the right. only 3D stuff that gives you a full resolution stereoscopic 3D. That's incredible, man. Now listen, I'm going to be honest, I'm more of a console gamer, everybody knows it, because I like using my controller. Right. Now, I know that Sony is about to do a major update to their firmware, allowing 3D-enabled gaming. Will we see Bad Company 2 hit PS3, but have a, you know, a 3D function added to it later on? Is that possible? I, I don't know about that actually. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure it's possible. Oh, I don't okay. I don't know if they'll I don't know if they will actually do it or not. But uh, I believe that there is a plan for 3D stuff in console gaming. But I can't I, I don't really know about that. Okay, so, no problem. But, now now listen, check this out. I know Nvidia um, has a chip in the PS3 okay. uh, currently. Okay. Will we see another Nvidia chip in the next P PlayStation? I sure hope so. I sure hope so. I love PlayStation. I love Xbox. You know I, I'm a console gamer too. But PC first, obviously working for Nvidia. But right, no yeah, we're Nvidia's. Uh, we got chips in a lot of different stuff, you know. Yeah, I can tell. Uh, I know you guys work hard. For sure. And if if we have a chip that makes the PS3 better, then it's gonna be in there. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, man. Now that's exclusive right there. Now let me ask you a question. From the from what we've seen at the event so far, because I know there's Need for Speed over here. Right. You have um, Dante's Inferno, which is already released, and Medal of Honor over there. What's what game is really standing out to you the most? I mean, honestly, so far. I saw I gotta go with the 3D Bad Company, Dude, but I mean Bad Company 2. <laughs> that game is so awesome. I mean, I, internally we play that game a lot. You know, we've been playing it, working on it, getting it all set up in 3D. I love this game. It's amazing. The, the, the multiplayer is really where it's at, and you can yeah. play multiplayer in 3D. You know, everything. What? Yeah. So, so wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa! You can play multiplayer in 3D, and there's like no drop in performance. No. I, I, well, on. well, I mean, there is a small drop in performance, oh, say, but not Jesus not because Christ. of the multiplayer. Oh. So basically, if you have 3D on, it's the same exact experience from the single player to the multiplayer. Oh. It just happens to be more people playing with you, and you're uh. playing online. 
That's crazy. So, yeah. Now, l l let me ask you this. Like, from what I saw, like, the game, it really pops out at you. Yeah. But there's the glasses. Like, the glasses, they got, like, some button on them or something like that. Now, when I pushed the button, at one point, it seemed like it was hard to see, and it was, like, straining on my eyes. And then I pushed the button again, and I had the problem. Is there a certain technology built in the glasses? Yes, uh, they're, they're powered glasses, right? So, so that's what uh, I was talking about before with the refresh rate. So it's giving you a double refresh rate out of the screen, and then the glasses shut off each eye every other 60 hertz. So basically, that's why they're powered, and they turn black, right? And they, yeah, yeah. So you plug them into a USB, and mini USB, they charge, and there's a battery in there, and they're powered and everything. Right. So there might have been a slight malfunction with the glasses you had, but... Like you said, you pressed it and it came back on. So All right. <laughs> now check this out. You, when the hip hop gamer do interviews, you already know it's gonna be different from everybody else's. All right. So I'm about to tell you this right now, Andrew. I want you to. I'm about to go do something. Okay. All right. I'm about to go do something. Right. So I'm about to let you, you know, run the hip hop gamer show for a second. Okay. All right. So I want, I want you to tell me your impression of, um, like. Bad Company 2 in terms of in comparison to Modern Warfare 2 because obviously there's a major, major jump and you being from the tech side could spot things that the average eye can't. So in terms of Bad Company 2, how much, mo how much more of a jump from your gameplay experience have you seen in Modern Warfare um, from Bad Company 2 over Modern Warfare? Let, let the players right. know. I'll be right back. So Mo Modern Warfare 2 is pretty cool. You know, you got the dual shotguns, you got all this fun stuff, but it's pretty similar to Modern Warfare. You know, it wasn't a huge upgrade from, you know, Modern Warfare 2 was not that big of a game. You know, it wasn't a big of a change, but Bad Company 2 is a huge change. There's so many new weapons, all sorts of vehicles. You got crazy. I just, the 3D go, glasses. I just had to go and get the 3D glasses to let you guys know Bad Company 2 is that crazy, man. I feel like The Rock right now. Hold up. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, go, you can continue. Okay, okay. So, Bad Company 2, not only is it is it more fun, in my opinion, but the vehicles, you know, the helicopters, bikes, tanks, all that kind of stuff, that's yeah. what makes it fun for me. Because right, when no you can problem. drive a tank into a building and the, the walls come down on the building, yeah, that's, that's huge. You that's know? huge. And it takes a lot of power to do that. Oh, yeah. Now, can you explain the, like, the technology like in, in this? Because when I was looking at the screen, like I said, with the buttons and everything, it looks really good. But mm -hmm. will this same pair of glasses work on Need for Speed World or, or anything? Or is it only NVIDIA chips that this works with? This is a proprietary technology. Okay. So you got to have an NVIDIA GPU. GPU, the graphics processing, you know, the graphics card, yeah. and then you got to have the emitter, which is the part that tells the glasses when to flash, you know, to oh, line it up, and then you got to have the glasses, right? That's so it. it's a okay. kit you can buy, I and then you have to have a special monitor. The kit? How much? It's about kit? 250 bucks, just right. for the the glasses and the emitter and all that, and then you have to buy a specialized monitor, and uh, the Samsung monitor is pretty pretty cheap. I think it's okay. uh, around 300 dollars. These are a brand new monitor made by Acer, and they're actually 19 by 10. They're 1920 wow. by 1080 full HD so uh, when content comes out in the future you know like 3d blu-ray all sorts of stuff whoa whoa 3d blu-ray can you let me know about that what's going on all I can tell you is that it's blu-ray and 3d like, when I mean, can we expect this to come out? And will I don't know. And will the PS3 be able? Once PS3 firmware updates to 3D, and because Nvidia chip is in the PS3 mm -hmm. along with the cell processor, are you telling me that Sony is going to be the home for your 3D entertainment alongside a PC itself? It's possible. <laughs> you already know what it is, man. I don't. I don't know. I can't verify that, but. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say no. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. That's good enough for me. Yeah. Alright, so look, I'm telling you right now, I'm opening up a PC gaming section. My man Andrew convinced me NVIDIA is here, we live, number one chip maker in the industry. Woo! You heard that from your boy Hip Hop Game. Oh, you gotta spin it on that, baby. No, no, you gotta spin it. Yeah, baby, that's gangster right there. You feel me? So you know. I'm about to sign off, NVIDIA, number one, and you know what's so funny, I really, I'm really glad that you guys worked with Sony because a lot of people, when Sony came out, they were saying it was hard to develop for and everything like that. Now, look at the type of quality games that you're getting, and remember, that's coming off the NVIDIA graphics card, God of War 3, did you see that? Bad Company 2, all of that's on the PS3. 
NVIDIA graphics card, number one in the industry. All right, so stay tuned to what they got next. And is there anything in the future, like in the near future, that you guys working on that you can talk about right now? Yeah, yeah. We're uh, so at PAX East, we're gonna unveil some pretty new technology, and uh, you guys definitely want you want to be there. I, no, I'm gonna be at PAX East, well, but you know what? But you know what? You I may have to bring you on stage because Hip Hop Gamer will be performing at PAX. Hell yes. That's I will go up there. Oh, this, I'm yo. a musician, too. You're a musician, too? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, no, I'll tell you about the card. So uh, right, cool. we got a new card coming out. Um, it's called the GTX 480. Ooh, and uh, What's some of the features that we can expect to see in that? I can't give you numbers or any performance stuff, but all I can tell you is it's going to blow everything else away that's ever been made as far as graphics cards. It's going to be the best graphics card ever. So. Wow. So this, this game, only on a full high settings, everything, all 3D. No oh problem. My God. Yeah. So you know what? Obviously, 3D is the future. NVIDIA is pushing it. HipHopGamerShow.com, one of the 